Hello friends in this part of PHP file system series we have discussed how to list files from particular folder or directory by using PHP script with Ajax jQuery. For display folder files in table format in modal, so first we have make modal, so we have simply copy upload code and pass below it and change it name to file list modal from upload modal. Then after we have changed modal title text from upload file to file list. Now we have remove all code from modal body tag and add attribute it with file list name, so here we have it attributed to this modal body class. In this tag we will display particular folder files and table format. Now we have move to write jQuery code on view files button click event. So here we have write dollar document selector with on method and under this method we have write click event with button class name view files. So when we have click on view files button then this code will execute. Under this first we want to get folder name, so we have define folder name variable is equal to dollar this data method and under this method we have write name. By using this code we can get folder name from data name attribute and store into folder name variable. Below this we have define one more action variable is equal to fetch files. This variable value will use at server side for identify we want to fetch files from particular folder. Now we have write ajax request and under this first we have write url option set to action.php page. Here we have send request to this page. In second option we have write method. In this option we can define which we want to use for send data to server. Here we have use post method. In third option we have write data option, in this option we can define which data we want send to server. So here we want to send action and folder name variable value has been sent to server. Lastly we have write success callback function this function has been called if request successfully completed and this function has received data from server. This function will receive particular folder files in table format. So we want to display that list under modal division tagged file list. So here we have write dollar within file list with HTML method and under this method we have write data. This will display particular folder files under this tag. And we want to display file list modals so we have write dollar with modal id file list modal with modal method and under this method we have write show. This will pop file list modal on web page. Now we have moved to write PHP for list folder files in action.php. Here we have first write if statement and under condition we have write dollar post action variable is equal to fetch files. This condition will check if dollar post action variable value is equal to action then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar file data variable is equal to scan directory function and under this function we have write dollar post folder name variable. This function will return array of files from particular folder. Now we have write dollar output variable is equal to table tag with three table heading tag like image, file name and delete. For fetch files name from dollar file data variable we have write for each loop with condition dollar file data as dollar file by using this for each loop we can fetch file name one by one. Under this loop first we want to skip file name with single dot and double dot because the scan directory function will return single dot and double dot file compulsory. So for skip this both file we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar file variable triple equal to single dot or dollar file triple equal to double dot. 
this condition will check if dollar file variable value is equal to this two double and single dot file name then it will execute if block of code. Suppose this dollar file variable value is equal to single dot or double dot then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write continue statement. But suppose dollar file variable value is not equal to above file name then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write dollar path variable is equal to dollar post folder name slash dollar file name. Here we have defined path by putting folder name with file name and store in two dollar path variable. After this we have write dollar output variable and in this variable we have append html code like open and close table row tag in between this tag we have write first table data tag in between this tag we have write image with attribute source is equal to dollar path variable. This will display image from particular folder. Then after we have write second table data tag and in between this tag we want to display file name. So here we have write dollar file variable which print file name. In last table data tag we want to display remove button so we have write button tag with attribute name is equal to remove file class is equal to remove file and in it we have store dollar path variable value in which we have store file path with folder name and file. So here our table code is ready for list files from folder and now we want to send this data to Ajax request so we have write echo statement with dollar output variable, this will display this data to user. So here our code ready to list files from folder so we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends first we have refreshed the browser and so here we can see view files button in new folder, so we want to see files inside this folder, so we have click on this view files button, after clicking on this view files button modal has been pop in browser and under this modal we can see image files with name and remove button and table format. In next part we will discuss how to remove files from folder or directory. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.